AI is transforming digital interactions, making them more personalized, efficient, and responsive. One of the most impactful applications is in mental health support, where AI can assist users in expressing emotions, receiving guidance, and accessing helpful resources. This video presents the process of building an AI-driven mental health assistant with Moment, covering the UI design, database setup, and AI automation. By the end, this walkthrough would demonstrate how multiple AI agents collaborate to create a context-aware, emotionally intelligent assistant without a single line of code. Now let's dive in. Here's an overview of how this app works. We log in as a user. What you see right now is the profile of the user. Here, it records users' basic metrics such as height, weight, birthday, and the previous medical history and medication history. This information will be collected when the user sign up, and they can always head back to their profile page to edit or update. On the home page, you can find different entries for the functions like journal keeping and chatting page. And there are also some useful resources for the user. On the journal page, user can record their new journals and their previous journals will be context for the AI agent. Whenever a user types a new message, the system will retrieve past interactions such as previous journals, previous conversations, and references to historical data like users, medical history, and medication history. For example, here I typed a message saying that I felt tired and dizzy this morning, I barely slept last night. On the surface, we can only see that AI is generating responses, but behind the scenes, this conversation has been kept into the context for the future use. If we start a new chat and type in, do you think it's a good idea to have some exercise like boxing? You'll see that this assistant asks me not to, based on my health conditions and my recent states. And that's because it remembers the previous conversation and the medical history. This assistant will always retrieve the latest information of user and bring it as the context for the conversation so we can provide the most personalized suggestion. For example, if we update our medical history at a history of sleeping disorder, the context for the assistant will instantly update. We start a new chat and ask the assistant why I felt tired every morning. In its response, it has been updated with the user's sleeping disorder record. In this app, the mental health assistant will always get the real-time data of user. And that's because every time a user updates the profile or keep a new journal, there will be an AI agent summarize all the contents. And this newly updated content will be stored in a database for the AI agent to retrieve. Now let's see how it actually works in the backend. Head to the database of moments in the journal record, the content has all been summarized by the agent. The blue mark means the vector search has been enabled, which means it will be used as context for the AI agent. And in the conversation summary table, all of the previous conversation has been summarized into a complete paragraph. The summarization is for AI agent to better understand the semantic meaning Otherwise, the AI agent will have to retrieve the segmented information every time. The user profile is updated in real time as well. Remember we just add a medical history? If we go to the account table, we can see that our basic info has been updated. The latest sleeping disorder record has been added in this info. Now let's dive into how to build an AI assistant that can retrieve real time user data at a moment. Before we get started, let's check the whole logic of this app. Behind this app, there are several functions. The first is the main mental health assistant, which is responsible for the chat. And there is a user profile and medical history processing, which enables the assistant to retrieve the real-time data. And also there is a general conversation summarization 
uh, this function is the same as the processing above. So for the mental health assistant, it has three agent works. When the user sent the message, a classification AI agent will determine whether the conversation is a general conversation or the user might need the intervention. If it's a general conversation, another AI agent that is responsible for general chat will be triggered and then it will generate the responses for the health assistant. If the user needs intervention, a specialized AI agent will be triggered to provide professional responses to make sure the specialized agent provide a more professional suggestion. We have some predefined symptoms and the coordinate treat plan in the database. When the specialized agent extracts the keywords of user symptoms, it will use vector search to find the coordinate treatment plan in the database and then generate the professional responses. During the workflow of these AI agent, several tools and contexts have been used. The first tool is for retrieving past conversation history and general entries. And the second tool gathers relevant treatment plans based on the predefined keywords in the conversation. The context is user's information. The information of these tools will be provided by these two functions. In the profile and history processing, whenever user updates their profile or medical history or the medication history, an action flow, which means the backend workflow in moment, will be triggered automatically. And then an AI agent will summarize the updated information. And the same if the user updates their journal or starts a new conversation. The action flow will be triggered and the AI agent will summarize the information and update in the database. And now we can head to moment editor to start building our assistant. In this project, we have seven pages, the login page, register page. This is a basic info when a user registered. It will collect some basic information from the user, including the medical history and the medication history. The home page has several entrants for the different functions. And you can add some resources. In the journal page, the user can keep their journal once they saved it. It will show in the previous journals here. The chat page is where the assistant work. When a user enters this page, she or he can continue the last conversation or to start a new one here. The profile page will show the basic info of the user. In the database, we have set up several tables to store the information. The account table is the default table. And we also created a medical history table and a medication history table to store user's history record. Please know that we have set up a one-to-many relationship between the account and medical history and also the medication history. This is because one user can have multiple medication or medical history records. And the journal table is to store user's journal. These four tables below here are the default tables whenever you have configured the AI agents. And we also have a crisis plan table. This table is for the specialized agent to search for symptoms and the recording plan to give professional suggestions. Symptoms and plan are already pre-filled in the database. You might notice that there are some blue marks right next to some of the fills. This is because we have turned on the vector storage. This is for AI to search for some information. On the surface, this app appears simple, featuring a form for user to input personal data and a chat interface for AI-assisted conversations, and also a journal for checking daily emotional states. However, Behind the scenes, a team of AI agents collaborate in real time to provide intelligent, context-aware responses. The reason why we are using multiple AI agents here is that it ensures efficiency because some agents summarize information 
and making it readily available for future queries without retrieving data repeatedly. And second, it reduces errors because these agents focus on niche tasks like casual chat, professional advice, and summarization. It minimizes hallucinations and improving accuracy. And third one is that it optimizes the cost. If we use a single AI for all the tasks, it will require pulling all the context every time, and that will significantly increase the token usage. And next, we'll be diving into this AI agent to see how they collaborate with each other. Let's check out the first AI agent, the mental health assistant. This assistant works in the chat page. When the user clicks send button, it will be triggered. And if they click new chat, this agent will also be triggered. The input of this agent is the user's question. And here are some predefined prompts that define this agent's role, goals, and the constraints. In the context, first, it will retrieve the logged in user's basic information, which is stored in the account table. And it will also retrieve user's previous journal, which is summarized by another AI agent here. And they will also query the conversation summary, which is also summarized by the AI agent. And this agent has been equipped with a tool called Action Flow. Action Flow means the backend workflow in Moment. The advantage of Action Flows is that they operate independently of the user interface. This ensures data automation and the real-time updates, and also enable efficient management of AI agent collaboration. In this action flow, after user clicked send message, it will first classify the type of conversation. Here, an AI agent called Conversation Classification will be triggered. This agent's role is to classify the conversation, whether it's about the symptoms or it's just a general chat. This action flow will continue to trigger the AI agent based on the type of conversation. If it's a general chat, the chat agent will be called. This agent is mainly responsible for general chat with the user. And they will also retrieve the previous data, like user basic info and the previous message content. This is for giving user a personalized response. Here is an action flow in this agent. And this action flow is for cribing user's previous journal and used it in a conversation. And let's go back to the main action flow of our mental health assistant. And once the chat AI responses, it will assign the value to this mental health assistant and output to the user. And if the type is about symptom, a professional agent called symptom will be triggered. And this agent plays a role with a professional medical assistant for providing response suggestions. Same as other agents, it will retrieve the user's basic information and the previous conversation content. And for this agent, we have configured two action flows as a tool. Search memory by keyword is the one we just checked before. That is for query user's previous journal. The yeah, crisis plan is for the agent to query the treatment plan and the quality symptoms in the database. In this data table, we have pre-filled some symptoms and according plans. Now let's go back to this agent. And once it uses these tools, it will generate a structured output including the suggestion and the reason why. 
go back to the main action flow, same as the chat agent, the response from the symptom agent will be assigned to the main health assistant agent. Another three agents here are for summarizing the information. Here is a journal summary that mainly responds for summarizing users' journal. And same as the other agent, it will retrieve users' basic information. The other two agents work the same, but how these three agents are triggered, since we don't have any buttons on the front end, that's because they run in the action flow, which means the back end. The first action flow is update basic info. The basic info summarizing agent is triggered here, and once it's summarized, the data will be updated in the account table. And this action flow is automatically triggered whenever the account table has update. So in the preview I showed you before, when I add a medical history of sleeping disorder, this action flow will be triggered automatically. And the AI will summarize my new information and update it in the database. And the other two summary action flow works the same. They are all triggered by the database change. Whenever a user inserted a new journal or started a new conversation, the AIH will be called and the database will be updated. And that's a wrap of our AI Mental Health Assistant. To summarize, this app has a multi-agent collaboration which allows the system to analyze emotions, track symptoms, and retrieve relevant user data in real time. And every interaction pulls the latest user insights, ensuring responses are accurate, empathetic, and dynamic. And what's more, everything operates in the backend, reducing the manual intervention, minimizing errors, and providing a smooth, uninterrupted user experience. This project was originally built by Eric a moment user who leveraged AI to create a highly efficient assistant. With his permission, this project has been turned into a template, making it accessible for further exploration. You can head over to the editor to see how it's structured or clone it and start building instantly. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Moments Showcase.